Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful holiday or just wonderful weekend. <clears throat> We're back streaming. I have yet another cough that just won't go away. So I apologize if I cough into the microphone. Working on this commission today because we got work to do and we got to do it. So I'm really excited with the progress it's made. <clears throat> I might not talk the rest of the stream after I intro here just because uh, I don't want to keep coughing into the mic. I keep getting sick because my kid goes to school and he just keeps bringing home stuff because he's a giant germ goblin. But that's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> we are uh, working on this here. I kind of just was like messing around with some lighting off stream a little bit. Just kind of added just like quick little like soft light in, in there to kind of beef up the shadows to more how I wanted it. So we'll kind of clean up that area <clears throat> and do more of that uh, just to kind of Add some shapes in there to kind of bring it. And then we'll erase bits to allow for like the lighting and stuff. But I do like adding that mood. Yeah, it's kind of the mood I wanted to do. Um, I actually want to erase it really quick. Uh, yeah, so like maybe bring it over here a little bit too. I definitely think it's too, you know, uh, just blotted in there. It was just like a quick thing. <clears throat> I like the mood it sets, though. So like what I would do now is like I'd probably go in and you know erase it in spots where the sun would hit the tree we're gonna just kind of create an atmosphere here and then we're just gonna kind of leave the background alone because it's not really the focus of the commission i'm not gonna do it a highly detailed one it wasn't even a part of the commission i was just kind of like i really want to add a background and they were like yeah that sounds cool so <clears throat> uh i don't want to focus too much on it But I do want it to look nice, so. Sometimes you just get inspired to do stuff by people's uh, ideas, you know? And this is one of those commissions. It's cool. Thank you. 
If you're just tuning in, uh, welcome. This is a commission we've been working on for the last couple streams. Um, but I haven't really been able to work on it too much outside of that. I had a couple other pieces that were a little more pressing at the time, deadline-wise. Had to just kind of wrap those up. So we've been kind of saving it for stream. Uh, albeit accidentally. I thought I was muted for a sec again. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're trying to continue this, try to crank this out a little bit. Just trying to get the background to be something we are okay with, we're happy with. again with our fog that's back here just to kind of fill out that ambient light a little bit I'm just gonna take brush and kind of smooth things out a little bit. Let's go to our swatches here. Do something a little, a little bit of light.
Just add a little bit of fine detail in the tree. We're gonna fully detail this tree over here too. Um, <clears throat> also, we're gonna go over our top painting with uh, some of that same shadow that's uh, in the other side. And then we'll kind of run light it a little bit. I really like the mood of this whole piece so far. <clears throat> I think it works really well.
It's looking cool so far. We're slowly just kind of chipping away at that sketch that we have underneath. Submitted my portfolio again to uh, Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> I can't wait to not hear back. <laughs> I feel like I've submitted to them so many times, and I just kind of take like it as like, oh, you're it's not quite you know time or whatever. But I mean, I'm not gonna stop submitting it, you know, because like. It could also just be like, be like a wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. And since they don't respond with any feedback or anything, they never respond. So it's like, you never know. <laughs> like, you don't get an answer. So then you just kind of like, I just submit again. You know, I submit every few months. And hope that you kind of <clears throat> get on their list, you know, on their radar. Like, and it's weird because, like, I don't even know if that's how they take submissions anymore. And every time I ask somebody, every time I ask around, people are either super vague about it and don't quite answer the question, or they say, I think so. So, that's the best I can get.
feel like I'm avoiding this horse. <laughs> I'm avoiding this horse so hard because <clears throat> painting horses are is hard. I am hoping this stream we make a good chunk uh, of of the piece complete. I think we will. Look at how much like lighter that all is. It's crazy how much it like changes the whole mood, right? It feels so much more complete. Just by adding that like little layer of dark.
I'm gonna go with like leather underneath here just to kind of add a little more texture to things. Uh, just kind of blocking that in so I have it. And then I'm gonna kind of go on top and do that. Like the final render. Just doing a black and white layer on top just so I can kind of see I mean I can kind of already see the values and it looks pretty good that's enough contrast I think um, I think there will be even more once I darken up this tree in the front a little more um, it looks good though I think that looks pretty good I'm not looking for like super contrasty Yeah, I mean this this piece has been really fun just because like it um, it's one of those pieces that has a lot of detail and you're able to just kind of and there's no real pressure of like a deadline or anything so you're just kind of taking your time and it feels really therapeutic to kind of comb through it uh, piece by piece. So uh, it's it's been a nice kind of breather from the other commissions that are going on that are a little more pressing. Just start painting on top here.
Hey, heroic antagonist. Thanks for joining the stream. And yeah, no worries. I uh, hope you enjoy just kind of tuning in. No sweat. Glad you're digging it. I I never I never know because I'm always it, it's it's a pretty chill stream most of the time. So I never know if it's like that entertaining, but I like to think the the painting process and talking about it can be fun for people that are interested.
this is actually a commission. Uh, I don't know if he's watching today, but uh, his username is Dark Vlogger. Um, he hired me a, a little bit ago to commission his paladin character. Uh, it's uh. And we've just been kind of slowly chipping away on it. He said I could stream it, so I've been uh, chipping away at it on stream. I always find it's like really cool when people say I can stream their commission stuff because it's really hard to stream when you have work that needs to get done. So I usually tend to cancel a lot of streams when I have a lot of work that gets, needs to get done. So it was cool. It, uh, they wanted me to, they, they said I could stream it because then I could kind of do both, you know. And I find this process to be a little more, a little more, uh, a little more along the lines of what I commonly do than like, say, my Pokemon pieces that I've been doing. Those are much more sped up and, uh, a little different. Oh, for sure. Yeah, win-win. Yeah, I love I, I I love that being able to to work on actual work. Cause a lot of the time, you know, you're working on stuff and you can't show it until certain times or whatever. So then you're you're kind of stuck. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not a super popular stream, so I tend to just be like, yeah, no stream today. <laughs> I mean, I don't really do this for popularity anyway. I'm not, that's not really my goal. I'm not, I'm not an entertainer. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, it's too anxiety inducing to try to do it like that. So it's just kind of a, I'm working on this stuff and people want to check it out. It's here. Anything and hopefully you learn something. I don't know. Well, I mean, like a couple of years ago, I streamed more consistently, and and uh, I guess I stream more consistently now. But like, I streamed more for the the hope of like it being a a thing, and um, it get, it's really stressful, at least for me, from my experience. And uh, I don't really want that. I don't desire that. It's too much. So for anyone wondering, this is what I typically do with commissions it's like I, I usually have like a really tight sketch I might have erased a lot of it by now but let's see if I can pull it up so I usually have like a tight sketch um, I did sketch a loose background too I think I erased it here it is so this is like the sketch what we started with and then we kind of blocked in some quick background added that in Gradually beefed up the mood, blocked in the character, and now we're kind of detailing on top. Oh, that's my light source to remind me where my light source is, but I kind of already know now. Um, so now we kind of beefed up on top of the sketch, and we're getting we're getting there. It's the I think I would say the background's pretty much done. I want to do the the tree to the right here a little more detailed, just because it's. Uh, it's closer to the focal point, which is the character. But there's a lot of really cool shapes going on in the background that I really like. Uh, I really like this like uprooted rock area thing. That I think is fun, um, and I just kind of like the mood of it overall. It looks looks nice. 
so yeah, we uh, we've come a long way uh, in this piece. So hoping to wrap it up. I don't know within the next two weeks. Um, it's funny because like paintings overall don't take super long. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, yeah, I, I, I drew as a kid and like growing up and stuff. And then I kind of stopped around high school, middle school time. And then I kind of went to high school for graphic design. And it was kind of like illustration adjacent. Because I didn't, I, I was so naive then. I didn't know of like careers in illustration or anything like that. So I was kind of like, I got to get something that I can get a job with. So I went with graphic design. And I liked branding and stuff. And I kind of liked the idea of like making logos and stuff. That sounded fun. Um, so I kind of went that route for a while. Um, and then about... And then about like 20, 2012, I started part-time illustrating, but then like I really transitioned into being an illustrator in like 2017-ish. And I started full-time illustrating in like 2018. So that's where we're at. And uh, it's been, it's pretty good. It's been hard for sure. But uh, it's, uh, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I want to go back. You know, I, I really want to just kind of do this. Um, I'm still on, Heroic Antagonist says, I'm still on pencil and paper. I bought a tablet, but it wasn't, you weren't really ready for it. Yeah, no, I, uh, I am actually trying to gradually get away from using a tablet because I'm, I like it, but I do feel like, um, I don't know, something about, I do like sketching on paper still, like when I sketch. I wish I did it more. Um, I kind of find myself going back to the safety of digital, which I don't like. It kind of bothers me. Um, but I'm transitioning my way out of out of it. I don't think I want to do tra traditional completely ever. But it would be nice to like do character commissions traditionally, um, and then eventually like whole pieces. Like it would be cool to be able to do this with traditional. I can't. I I I'm still figuring out my process with traditional, uh, and I never get I never get to be able to sit down and. It sucks because you you when you're learning a new thing. You never get the time to like prioritize it, you know. If if you're if you're working in the same field, you know what I mean. Like, like I'm trying to learn a new illustration thing when I'm working as an illustrator, so I have to. I can't shut off my. I'm, I'm waiting for that allotted time to be able to be like, okay, now I'm going to spend this time learning something instead. So a lot of the time I've been doing. I don't know if this is actually what it's called, but I, I, I call it like implementation learning. So it's like, if I want to learn a thing or practice a thing, I try to do it in the piece I'm working on. But with traditional, it's kind of hard because all the pieces I'm working on are digital. So I've been learning more about techniques and applying them in digital painting. So it's been making it hard to transition out into traditional anyway. But like right now, like, what I'm implementing for this is I'm really trying to work with um, mood and and temperature. So like half of the pe like the the main light source areas are, are warm, and then there's like a really stark contrast into into cools. So I'm trying to just kind of mess with that more and mess with my mood lighting a little more. Um, so that's been kind of my focus on this piece. Uh, 
but I do find, I do find there are a lot of similarities between digital and traditional though, too. I think the only real difference that I've noticed about traditional is, um, at least with my painting process, you're kind of blending like in the moment while you're painting instead of blending colors, painting it, and then kind of, you know, going that way. And, you know, just the obvious safety of like, if I really screw this up, I can just delete it and go back kind of thing. Um, you can't really do that, at least not easily with traditional. A lot of people would take pictures of their sketches first and then like have that available and then just kind of like, you know, reprint the sketch and then like kind of trace over it and start again that way. And that's something that you could do for sure. It's funny though, cause I feel like um, people see me paint digitally and I've been getting a lot of reactions lately about how I paint so differently than a lot of people. And I'm like, oh, am I doing it wrong? <laughs> but like, um, I just kind of, I've, I've, I learned by watching a lot of people do traditional painting. So I'm kind I guess I kind of have a little traditional approach to it, I guess. And I, I didn't really know, I didn't really notice that. I thought everyone kind of did it this way. Um, so, I mean, I'm not doing it right, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. I think, I think it looks good. So whatever, but it's just, uh, it always brings me back to this uh, saying my graphic design teacher said in, uh, in high school. Uh, he said, uh, I don't care how you do it. I said, I don't, I said, I don't care how you do it as long as you get it done. Or like, as, I don't care how you get there as long as you get it done. And I really like that because it just kind of shows like all the different avenues you can kind of take. 
I mean, obviously now with like, you know, AI art and stuff, you kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like that phrase anymore. Um, Cause you know, you can just kind of type in some stuff and get a prompt. Um, but yeah. I think it's cool to like, you can have people approach the same thing so many different ways and you get so wildly different results. And I think that's really cool. That's what makes art so wonderful, you know, is like no matter what your personality kind of shows through it. Um, It's almost like a window into your mind, right? It's like you can see how someone thinks and feels when you look at a piece they made, even if it's just like a silly piece, right? You can see so many things uh, about, about the artist. like tells a little story about them in a way. And I don't mean to get all like granola -y about it, but like, it's true. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I know it's a little pretentious sounding, but uh, it's true, you know? You really get a glimpse into uh, how people like see things, their perspective, you know? <clears throat> It's not always a good thing. <laughs> it's not. It's not always good to see that perspective, but actually thinking about that a lot uh this morning um how like art can open up a dialogue right even something as like potentially harmless right like something like uh we we watched the barbie movie yesterday and it's so campy and so wild and it it it, it doesn't hide its message which i think is really cool but uh, I think it's funny that it got so much backlash. And it's like, well, you know, from like people of uh, people that don't agree with the messaging behind it, obviously. But I just think it's funny because it's like it's like I don't I don't necessarily know if its intention was to do that. But I love how art does that. Like, I love how art like kind of talks about these it, it can it can make people feel either empowered or uncomfortable a little bit and I kind of like I, I kind of like that it has the potential to open up a dialogue just by you know m you making a thing and putting it out there I think that's really cool um, it, it shows that art still has you know meaning and power which I think is pretty interesting I loved that movie, by the way. I, I, it's so ridiculous, like, and so cool. Like, and I mean, and by ridiculousness, I mean just like how campy they all play it, and like the like the acting is so campy and 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 funny and and uh, like I don't know. It's just, it is really it's a really clever movie.
And I love that they just like lean into the characters so hard. It, it's, man, it, it's so good. Like it, it's, if you just go along for the ride. Yeah, like what I love about it, even if you look at it at the surface level, right? Take the, the deeper meaning out of it. What's cool about the movie is how they, how everyone just leans into it. Like they are clearly toys and like they're clearly like, it's just so campy. And like my two favorites in the movie are America Ferreira, who is like the real world mom of the person that owns like Barbie. She's awesome. But I also love, um, Ryan Gosling as Ken is very he's very fun like he just like he's so, he leans into like the the naivety of Ken and like that like <laughs> my favorite is uh it's not a spoiler but like he like he's he tries like he tries to like get a job somehow for something I'm not gonna go into it but like they're asking what his qualifications and it's like for like a lifeguard job but he's looking to just be like his job is like to beach like he because he's beach ken so he's like he's like no i just like he's like i don't want to go in the water he's like i just want to beach i just want to like hang out on the beach and they're like that's not a job like it's so it's so good <laughs> and he gets so mad <laughs> he's like i can't even beach here <laughs> it's so it's so good <laughs> the, the the movie the movie's really really fun and like it's like intentionally cringy. Like I don't know, I, I really I really enjoyed it. And you know, being like a uh and being like, you know, a, a a a white male, you do you do feel like you do feel like the 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 discomfort a little bit because like you're like man yeah like we 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 do suck and like but like the overall message of like how like it should how things should be versus like how things are and stuff um you do kind of like go go away with it like yeah no i totally agree it should be that way like it shouldn't be the the like and i think i think the reason why people got so hung up on the movie right was that it showed like I I at least from from my v the vibe that me and uh, my wife interpreted it were like um, it showed it even in the real world it showed like almost like an extreme version just like they show in Barbie it's like everything's an extreme there too they showed like basically two extremes to really highlight issues that are going on in the real world. Um, but, uh, it was cool because it made you think about, like, even if they're not that extreme, like those things are real and they happen and, um, it sucks, you know? So it's cool. Cause it made you think like the way they interpreted it and the way they communicated the information in the movie, it does make you walk away from it and think about it deeper because it's so highlighted, you know? I think if they made it subtler, you wouldn't walk away thinking it was, you wouldn't walk away thinking about it because you're like, oh, like that wasn't too bad, but it's like, no, like it can be that bad and just might not be all the time in real world, but like it's, yeah, it's pretty shitty. So it was cool. It, it, it was really well done. I was just telling, uh, I was telling, uh, I was telling her yesterday that like, uh, I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised, uh, what was it Mattel? Mattel makes Barbie, right? I'm surprised Mattel like let them make fun of Mattel as much as they did. I was, I was shocked by that. Like they really, they really make fun of their corporate overlord. <laughs> I was surprised they would allow that.
gonna brighten this up a little bit. This is not going to be our room lighting. <laughs> it's not that good, but um, it helps to kind of see it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But it's funny, like when you see the office, it's like it's like this really giant, obviously this giant tower and uh, they actually call it a phallic building <laughs> and um, you know, it's like all these like empty cubicles and really dark rooms and stuff. And like everyone's a bunch of yes men and all the CEOs and stuff are male. And like, it, it's just like, they really, uh, hammer at home. Come on. Oh, wow. They just straight up broke the fourth wall, huh? Was that, was it, what did you think of that Matrix movie? I feel like there was a lot of mixed reviews of that movie. I think people had too high of expectations for it. Yeah. It just kind of exists. Yeah. It's not really like it didn't ruin things. It, it so so what you're saying is it was safe. That's for, like what usually what people say with movies like that. Didn't take any real like risks. I just had to add a little bit of like, not a rim light necessarily, cause it's not really accurate, but like uh, just something there to kind of like separate the two so I can keep painting. Um,
Gonna probably wrap up in a few minutes. Thank you all again for coming out. Whoever managed to check out the stream, I appreciate it. Um, I usually leave the VODs up uh, as long as I can. Um, and then a speed, a, a sped up video goes on YouTube whenever the piece is done. Uh, so feel free to check out the YouTube channel. If you wanna see some other videos of paintings. Or just follow me on Patreon. I usually post everything on there too. For the public, they're, it's free. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming out, man. Sorry if I distracted you from work. I know you said you were just listening. <laughs> I ended up just chatting with you. <laughs> Hope it wasn't too distracting. Yeah, for sure. I, I remember uh, when I when I worked in the uh, in an office. Uh, yeah, everyone's a little foggy for like the first couple days. <laughs> great, great. I didn't I didn't make it too bad. That's good. Um. Yeah. No, I feel like I feel like people start to kick things into gear by like that. Uh, like the Thursday, the following Thursday or something like that. But man, what is, what is it about offices and everybody getting stuff done only on Friday? I always find that very interesting. And, uh, sometimes it's rushed and like, there's like a phrase that I heard. I don't remember where I heard it from. I think it might've been from work and then be like, oh, this was done on Friday where it's like hastily. It's like a phrase for like hastily doing something and like not like being thorough because you just like had to get it done because you had to get it out. I mean, we all do it, but I just think it's like, I don't know what it is. Like something about like when I was in the office, it's like you always feel like you get like some stuff done, but like the biggest things like tend to always be done on Friday, like right at the last minute or it's like time management is so hard in an office for me, at least for me. Like I, I always, I always get so distracted people in their small talk a lot. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that happens a ton. Like I used to do these like large publications for this college, right? And they'd always have deadlines that'd be months out. And you're like, you're coming up, you're just waiting. Like as a designer, you're just waiting. <laughs> it for for sure it happens a lot um but like i remember working in this office and like they would have months and as a designer you're just kind of waiting you know for for content you don't really do the content management yourself so you're just kind of waiting around waiting around waiting around and you're doing what you can you're doing like the cover design or whatever but it's like they have like three months to get you stuff and then they give you like two days to do <laughs> to do the whole book and you're like uh i need more time and then they're like, well, we can't, it has to go to the printer. And it's like, where have you been? <laughs> and then there's all these errors and stuff and last minute edits. You already send them off to the printer and they have to email the printer and be like, sorry, I had to update something because there was a typo because apparently people had three months to work on a thing and they still couldn't make sure it was right. So yeah, you had, you get that a lot. And it's just, it's wild to me. Like it, it, it it's great because collaboration, but like, I think it also gets a little overhyped because you're working with so many different people and like so many different people's like work ethic. So it's like, it's really hard to like balance all that and manage all that. Yeah. 
and it gets really frustrating sometimes. You're just kind of waiting around a lot. I mean, there are some weeks where like I would feel super inefficient. Like I was like, okay, I kind of slacked off this week, but like it felt wild that the dude with ADHD was like, yeah, I, I hate that. There's like, there's a shared deadline. There's a shared deadline, but like, it's not like this is the deadline for the content for people or they, or they would have a deadline, but it's so loose and you could just like really manipulate and mold that deadline for them. But then like mine would, since I was last, I'd always be the hard deadline. Like it has to be here. And it's like, yeah, but now you're giving me less time. Cause you moved this person's a week. Like just, it, it sucked. But, uh, I still work with them on a contract basis for stuff, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. Um, yeah. All right, well, that's the stream. We made a lot of progress. It's looking good. I appreciate y'all coming out. We'll be back Thursday with either more of this, depending on how much I could do it off stream, or um, another piece. And uh, I'm really, really hoping to do a Friday stream where we play Inculinati. It's on the schedule. But uh, yeah, if you want to support me, you can just follow my Patreon for free. I kind of use it as a blog. Patreon.com slash creative outpouring. I can put it in the link here. I would greatly appreciate you following along. I'm trying to like get off social media a bit uh, and kind of use that as like my primary thing. Uh, Patreon.com slash creative outpouring for free updates and stuff. If you want to pay, there's a bunch of other bonus stuff, digital downloads and stuff. But anyway, thank you for coming out and we'll see you Thursday. Bye everybody.